Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. This year, I like the wind. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you got to wave your hands in the air. There was loads of other really big acts releasing on the same day: Jamiroquai, Sugar Babes loads of Westlife, it was just like loads of mm -hmm. brilliant act, but they really wanted George to be at number one. So they said, what we want you to do is pretend to be him. So you're gonna, you're gonna have his car, you're gonna have security, we're gonna get out at various destinations where people will be thinking that George Michael's turning up to sign CDs. And I went, you're joking, aren't you? And they said, no, this is, that's exactly what we want you to do. You can sing along if you want, sing a couple of songs if you want. I'm like, this is just bizarre. So anyway, I was on holiday in the Grand Canaria and they rang me and said, we need you tomorrow. And I oh, went, no. oh, I'm on holiday, mate. Sorry, I can't do it. <gasps> they said, no, we really do need you tomorrow. We'll fly you and your family back <laughs> to England and then we'll send you back again. God, it went ever so well. I sold 100,000 copies by midday. I think it was uh, Monday the 16th of November. Yeah, these dates sort of remember. And then... Um, and people on the knew back it was the... you? That... No, people actually thought it was him. Well, yeah, there's probably people it. with a CD at home with my signature on it that it says George Michael. On it. So why didn't... Where was the real George at he this was in, point? He was in... I think he was either in Germany or Austria, one of those sort of places on tour with his, you know... With his um, with his band. So you were the, it was the 25. George Michael. So I pretended to be George Michael in order to sell his album for him, which was really. Oh. I'd say love was a magical thing. I'd say love would keep us from pain. Had I been there, had I been there.